Hey up guys, you're all right. Lee from Son of the Pitch. I have down south today, been invited down by uh, Floyd from Green Valley Outdoors. We've got Ray here, the human wood processor, just <laughs> chopping away. Well, uh, we're just going to have a chill out. I'm going to have a cup of tea if I don't throw it on the floor again. And then uh, we'll show you around the setup. Because it's cold, guys, I got the alt tent out again. This time it's strung up to trees. I'm not doing the poles because we've got plenty of trees here. I'll take you indoors though, because I've done something slightly different. So I've a I have actually used the hammock today. So I got the stove in. We had a little pile of twigs there that Ray very kindly cut me. And uh, yeah, the setup is, I'll show you now. Can you see me? I'm in, yeah, right. So as usual, DD hammock, one tigress under blanket, uh, sleeping bag, little pillar. Got loads of space in here. The plan is it, it's going to get cold in the early hours of the morning. So myself and Floyd are going to be uh, in there. I'll get the stove lit in the morning just so we can cook some breakfast under there. Uh, have a nice brew. Floyd's going to start doing some uh, food prep now as well. He's doing a massive mixed grill plattery thing. We'll go back across and see him now at his setup. Come on, if I don't trip over these guy ropes. Stop laughing. <laughs> So, what I've got here is just a 3x3 three three, uh, DD tarp and a DD um, hammock front line that's built to hold this sexy weight. Um, what I'm rocking with internally though is um, a Dutch army uh, beeping slag. I think it's like five seasons, a big thick thing. For obvious reasons, it's Baltic at the moment and uh, I'm trying to act cool with none of my warm kit on, which is going to be deployed very soon. And that in a nutshell is it guys. You got Ray here, he's keeping the fire going for us like a trooper while we're pissing around with cameras. <laughs> so guys, so what we got tonight for tonight's feast is mushrooms, it's posh broccoli. I think they're piccolati, piccolati tomatoes, I don't know how you say it. Piccadilly. Piccadilly. Got lamb koftas, we got belly pork cutlets, chicken breast, beef short ribs, and three ribeye steaks. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is for tonight. I got a can of Stella and a nitric heart reach. <laughs> Look at that. Nitric marshmallows, eh? <laughs> <laughs> They're not butter mushrooms, are they? They're big ones. Chestnuts. I always think of hangover when I think of chestnuts. So when people say I've got a fat dick, yeah. <laughs> they're the smaller ones, are they? I think so. <laughs> you want me to rotate that? What, the grill? <laughs> yeah. Be upside down, man. <laughs> Fucking cry my eyes out here. I would be if I burnt that much meat. <laughs> Make sure you get them greens on camera. My diabetes doctor will be thanking you. Honestly, we're going to cook these. We're <laughs> <laughs> not going to eat them. We're going to cook them. All for the all for the gram. Just to prove. Prove big boys can eat green stuff too. <laughs> Flame grilled. While the boys are cooking and it's smelling absolutely fucking amazing. Lies. I'm a lies or lies. <laughs> I've just been going round, sharpened a couple of sticks, taping them off at the end. Uh, last week I used my auger and with my sort of a pitch chopping board, they'll be available soon. 
put a couple of rolls in it and now I'm going to knock it in to make a table if I can. And what I'm going to use for this is Floyd's rustic homemade <laughs> hammer. So if it all goes wrong, also made with a auger. No, fuck me. <laughs> you pinch yourself. Yeah, head on is fucking massive, isn't it? You're a fucking claim there. <laughs> right, well it works. And then I just tap this one in gently, and then I'll move it around to wherever I want it. So I'm going to split that with my finger. Yeah, I did that. Job's gonna be a good one when I move it into my hammock. Yeah, that works. I can confirm that works, mate. What you need is a little drill hole through there and a bit of paracord, isn't it? Yeah. It'd be like Thor's hammer then, but Floyd's hammer. <laughs> oh! It's like croquet fucking mallet. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> oh, just in case you fancy a quick round. <laughs> right, Floyd's been working his magic and we've got a masterpiece. Now, don't let it be fooled. It all looks slightly dark on camera and in person but that's only a charring it's still cooked to perfection we got in fact i use my kofta as a pointer excuse fingers broccoli what's left of the tomatoes i was gonna like call carrots <laughs> broccoli that's how Good, I, i'll that's, drink you <laughs> well, i've had a bit of mouthful but that's how often i eat vegetables broccoli tomatoes we've got steak we've got other mushrooms chicken beef rib pork belly Kofta. Banging. I mean, I'll nick Floyd's knife because mine's elsewhere because I'm an admin vortex. And we'll go for a cut. Thank you. That with a pink inside, that's how we like it. Beautiful. Thank you. Compliments to the chef. I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it for you. Gert Lash. Gert Lash, yeah. Gert. It's Gert. Gertrude. Gertrude. Right. I'm going to punch this inside my face. I'm going to watch Lee Albo drop this inside his face. I'll be back in a bit. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, he's just gone for a shovel wrecker. I've just been splitting some wood. I made a table that you saw earlier. Did manage to nick my thumb, so that's a little bit painful, but it's one of them things, isn't it? I had some food and it was absolutely lovely. So, like I said, compliments to the chef. Cheers, Lloyd boy. It's a cracking setup he's got down here. Absolutely lovely. This raised fire pit, I think this is going to be a game changer because when I get back in my bushcraft area, this is what I'm doing. I was speaking to Floyd earlier and we both agreed that the way to go is to build one of these higher. So, essentially like barbecue height. So you can stand and or you can sit down comfortably and cook. Because there's one thing we all get in camping, cooking over a fire, it's all fun and games. But until you knelt down, trying to get your pan in, you got the smoke in your eyes, you're screaming with tears, and every two hours you're coughing your lungs up. Last time I went out, all I had was like smoke inhalation from the fire. And it's like I smoked 20 B&H like night before and I'm a non-smoker. But no, this is a beautiful spot. Quiet, serene. Yeah. Good spot, good food, good company. I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay, so I can sit out here and waste my life away, drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, for people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true. But it is, oh it is, living in the new world With an old soul These rich men north or rich men, Lord knows it all Just want to have total control Want to know what you think, want to know what you do And they don't think you know, but I know that you do Cause your dollar ain't shit and it's tax to no end Those are rich men Those are rich men I wish politicians Would look out for miners And 
not just miners on an island somewhere. Lord, we got folks in the street, ain't got nothing to eat, and the old beast milking welfare. Well, God, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay. Well, the heavens have opened. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but I bet you fucking can. That is loud. But we're all right, we're under the top, we've seen evil eyes, Ramirez has gone. Oh. So far, so good though. We've got a cheese bowl to get on with in a bit. I'm shouting as if you can't hear me, but you probably can. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'd rather be out, here he is. <laughs> here he is. I'd rather be out in the rain in a top than in a house in the rain. Cheese board, completed it mate. Look at that bad boy. Start with a grape. I'm mixing, mixing the vine here so we could be in trouble, could be a messy night. Does anyone know Comments below, what type of cheese are baby bellies? So we've got this massive baby bell and I don't know what type. Is it cheddar? <laughs> just, just to clear that up, that is water running off the top. <laughs> that is not Floyd, pissing everywhere. <laughs> well, I don't know. Give me a toast, I thought that would be better. Mm -hmm. Do you want me a toast off that might be a bit better? How severely... Severely eyes to fucking shut your cunt at. How sophisticated is this? You... Start again. Yeah, it's a bit of the eyes, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> fucking did it with your words. Not, not a fucking medic. I'm a wordsmith. It don't get more severely that. <laughs> civilised it. <laughs> Try again. It doesn't get much more civilised than this. Cheese and biscuits in the open air. The rain's stopped now, so it's probably going to get colder, but we've got a fire to keep us warm. Fire, good conversation, good company. Values. Mm. All the lives. Cheese, though. <laughs> yeah, cheese, bonus. Does anyone know what type of cheese a baby bell is? Oh, excuse fingers, sorry for it. Now we've got a massive baby bell here and we're not sure what type of cheese it is. Is it cheddar or is it... Round. Round fake cheese that's made in a cave. <laughs> Lord, it's a damn shame What the world's gotten to For people like me People like you Wish I could just wake up And it not be true but it is, oh it is, living in the new world, with an old soul, these rich men know the rich men, Lord knows they all just want to have total control, want to know what you think, want to know what you do, and they don't think you know, but I know that you do, cause your dollar ain't shit. And it's tax to no end, cause the rich men know the rich men. Right guys, that's me all uh, all tucked up in bed. All full of uh, full of cheese. So uh hopefully I don't have too many nightmares. But you never know. So unless anything uh, extraordinary happens tonight, I shall see you in the morning. It's uh, only slightly raining now, but it's due to piss it down for most of the night, I think. So yeah, I shall see you in the morning. I'm just gonna chill, watch some Netflix, do a little bit of editing and uh, get a good night's sleep. It's not that cold either. I thought it would be colder, but it's turned a bit mild now because of the rain. All right, anyway, waffling. Good night, I love you all.
morning, guys. You all right? It's, uh, <coughs> yeah, out there. I've just gone half seven. It's in the morning, and as you can hear, rain's still in. Not sure if needs something back, feels a bit. Oh, it's damp on camera, doesn't it? It feels a bit damp. Not sure if this, uh, this rain's uh, coming through again. I think it might be condensation. I think it's condensation that's formed on the inside. And there's a rain sitting it. I think it's sort of coming down a bit. Yeah. It's not my, uh, it's not my drizzle, any, uh, dribble. Anyway. <laughs> Peace out my eyes. Right, breakfast time guys, so today after I stopped crying because the smoke's going on my mince pies, <laughs> me has kindly donated hog roast and apple burgers. Close up. You'll be able to see them, the five card. Yeah. Go there. Yeah. <coughs> I've just gone for a classic. Beef burger from the butchers. Ooh. And obviously, some sexy uh, bread buns. Or bread rolls. Or cakes, whatever you want to call them. Bread cakes, yeah. Bread cakes. Come up north, there's going to be a bread cake. Nothing fancy. Burgers. And I think we've got eggs. Yeah, we've got. An egg each, salad. So if we fucking, uh, if we break the yolk, we're in trouble. You're gonna get one <laughs> shot of that. I just want your, yeah, thank you. I'm gonna reach of you. I think the rule is, you have to cook beef and you can have pork roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> rare. rare. Medium rare. What you want is for your pork. As, just like your chicken, you want that. So, a pink tinge in the middle. If you cooked it white, you've gone too far. I'm going to put that there. Raw pork on my hands, that's good. I'll, uh, I'll link this off later. <laughs> <laughs> I have got some baby wipes. Alright, he's going in with the tactical tongs. This is the money shot. Oh, Scotchio! <laughs> oh, we got... We got some colour in that one. It's a smoke my eyes, Oh, it's alright. Just don't chop your fingers off. Oh, he's going for the big baby bell. We still don't know what it's made out of. You think it could be goat cheese? It's not goat cheese, is it? It's made of baby, isn't it? Baby bell. But, but, but. Like you said yesterday. Drop it and it'll run off. Yeah. And start fucking singing. Right, them dodgy adverts. Well, uh, my Floyd's on with uh, meat duties. I'm just gonna do my best Gordon Ramsay impression. Right, pan, oil, oil, flame, eggs, shell, smoke in the eyes, two minutes, done. Sauce, red, room temperature, vinegary, burger van style. That 
is how you do a master chef presentation of breakfast butties. Pig, cow. This, ladies and gents, is the unglamorous side of wild camping that not a lot of people get to see packing up in the rain, manhandling your wet kit into your well, dry kit, into your bergen, and then just wrestling with it and getting piss wrapped through. But if you want to do it, it's part and parcel. Fucking gopping. Right guys, that's us all packed up. Once again, I've got to thank you for viewing and I've got to thank someone else. Boyd, Green Valley Outdoors has had me and he's treated me like a king. The man is a legend and what I want you to do, at the kindness of the arts, go to his channel, I'll put a link somewhere. Uh, go to his channel, subscribe, like. He's a great bloke. I won't leave him with your daughter, but he's fine. <laughs> Cheers for life, thank you. Anytime, my friend, anytime. Do the fucking... Ball. Yeah, Good it course. has. Not a ball, it ain't a ball. That's just, <laughs> just get this, it's been a pleasurable thing. It's nice to have some fucking like-minded company again. Alright, cheers guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah.